Several months back when I reviewed the Lionel 2021 Volume 1 catalog, a lot of people seemed to like it. So, here we go. Um, earlier today, or sometime this week, uh, Lionel released the 2021 Volume 2 catalog. So, you know the rules and so do I. Right off the bat, things are looking amazing. Ever since that Lionel made those Strasbourg ready to run 080s, people have been begging for the more accurate Strasbourg engines. And I've never even been to Strasbourg, and I probably won't be able to go to Tra Strasbourg for a while because it's so far away. But I can understand the hype. These are some pretty cool engines, and it's nice to finally see them in scale. So that's very nice. I was expecting them to have some what ifs in here. It's not a Lionel catalog without some what if paint jobs, but if I had to be positive, um, it is nice to see the cab forward again. I don't know the last time that Lionel has put the cab forward in their catalog. I know they made the AC9 a few years back, so this will be a nice addition. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Once again, to give Lionel some credit, it is nice to see a locomotive in the Spokane, Portland, and Seattle road name, considering that's a road name that isn't really all that common uh, in model railroading. So if you made a Spokane, Portland, and Seattle steam engine, hopefully that means that SPNS 700 will be on the horizon. We'll just see. All right, this is the sort of thing I like to see. Nice to see some more good diesel engines, especially the Vomit Bonnet. There hasn't been much talk regarding the Vomit Bonnet ever since its unfortunate repainting, so it's nice to still see some representation for it. Now, I do wish that they would have been able to make some non-powered units for us cheap skates, but it's better than nothing. WHAT HAVE WE DISCUSSED REGARDING THE WHAT IF- Ooh, another good one. Nice to see some more sets, and especially a coal train, no less. Especially considering that where I live, we have a ton of coal trains, so um, I'm sure that Midwestern Rail fans like myself will like to have that in our collections. Same with the Hustle Muscle. Um, I don't really know much about the Hustle Muscle, but I do know that it's an important engine, so it's finally, it's nice to finally see some stuff for that as well. At last, at long last, Lionel has made a genesis! Thank you, Lord Almighty, for this miracle! I never thought I would see the day. Lionel has finally made a genesis engine. Also, yes, those Hudsons are pretty cool, but finally, I can die in peace knowing that Lionel has made a genesis engine. And just in time, I think that they knew, you know, like, uh, it's in the Lionel office and they're like, Hey, we haven't made a Genesis. Okay, it's Amtrak's 50th anniversary. Uh, this is a good time. And they were right. Um, these Genesis engines look amazing. And I would love to get one, albeit at a discount price, but they, they still look awesome. Um... For the other stuff, I don't really know what to say about the other stuff because I don't really get Lionel accessories. Nor do I collect any S-scale trains, so I don't really know what to say about those. So just to conclude, because this catalog was much shorter than Volume 1. That's just how it works. But um, it was definitely a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, there's some good stuff, some bad stuff, some stuff I was not expecting. But I'd say it is better than Volume 1. I definitely prefer it over Volume 1. Lionel did do a good job on quite a few things. So, um, not a bad catalog. I'm looking forward to what Lionel has in store for 2022. Godspeed. <laughs>